Mixing the units and using fraction notation is very straightforward in Onshape and has some hidden benefits too. But let's start out with the basics. One of the most common questions from new users is how do I set my default units? If you go to the pull down menu next to your name in the top right corner, select Manage Account, then Preferences, you can set your default units for length, angle, and mass. When your account is first created, the defaults are inch, degrees, and pounds. Any new documents you create will use these units, but changing them here will not affect any existing documents or any CAD files that you import. However, if you deal with customers and suppliers who use different units, you don't have to come back here every time. After a document has been created, you can switch units whenever you need to. This document was created in inches, but if you want to display the dimensions in millimeters, you can do that by going to the document menu at the top left. Select units and then change them to whatever you want. Now the dimensions are displayed in millimeters. I say displayed because if you look more closely, the dimensions are in fact still in inches, and this is one of the cool features of Onshape. In every other CAD package I've ever used, Changing the units changes the actual dimensions, so you can't tell at a glance that the original design intent was for this to be exactly 6 inches, unless of course you know your 25.4 times table. You can override any value in any system of units by simply typing the unit abbreviation after the dimension value. So if the design intent has changed, you can easily mix and match every single dimension in your model to suit your needs. Onshape not only remembers the units for each dimension, but also remembers any expressions used to calculate a value. A good example is where you've dimensioned a radius, but the size that's important is the diameter. So entering the diameter divided by 2 reminds you, or explains to others, the original design intent. Now let's take this one step further. If you design in inches, you may want to enter fractions instead of working out their decimal equivalents. I for one don't know what this fraction is, but if it was entered as 6 plus 5 30 seconds of an inch, it becomes much clearer and much easier to measure. Using this notation, you can also mix units. For example, you could define this dimension as 6 inches plus 4 millimeters. Or if you're working on much larger parts, you can mix feet and inches, such as 1 foot plus 6 and 3 quarter inches. Note the positions of the parentheses to make sure the value is calculated correctly. And finally, if you prefer to design in inches, but your 3D printer only works in millimeters, you can override the units when you export the STL file, and the part will be printed at the correct size. So check out the Onshape help file for more information on units, fractions and math functions, and throw away that desktop calculator.